after former President Olusha Gonbasanjo's statement was released, scoring President Muhammad Buhari low on many grounds, the political class have been kept busy. Can they change the narrative? Engage the teeming youth of face the music. Former INEC chairman, Professor Atai Rujaga, speaks on how Nigeria can avert chaos ahead of 2019, considering the rate of unemployment. Many thanks for joining in, everyone. This is Politics Today, live on Channels Television. I'm Sheo Kimbalue in Lagos. Well, 2019 will be mentioned a lot on this program. Pardon me, everyone, and get used to it. He may be out of office, but a former chair of Nigeria's electoral body is giving out some key and very useful information ahead of the 2019 elections. Professor Atai Rujega, a former chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, was at the University of Lagos today where he delivered a lecture on the need for volunteers in Nigeria's electoral process. Professor Jaga warned that the unemployment situation in the country needs to be tackled fast as the nation sits on a keg of gunpowder if it does not creatively divert the energy of our idle, youthful population. The youth are the most dynamic, the most vibrant, the most active component of our societies. In fact, in countries like Nigeria, not to talk of the whole of Africa, there is a lot of talk about the youth bulge, you know? People who have been denied education, who are the largest segment of the active population, and yet uh, whose aspirations and the needs are not appropriately catered for by our communities and by our state. And it's important that we find ways and the means of constructively engaging these youth in politics, in the electoral process, in the governance process, Otherwise, rather than the youth bulge being potentially used for development, it can turn into a nemesis and create more crisis in the uh, political and governance uh, processes. And we are beginning to see it in many African countries, even here in Nigeria. The unemployed youth are being utilized negatively, even in politics, even in elections. You know, and uh, of course, they are increasingly frustrated by unemployment, whether they are secondary school graduates or university graduates. And that frustration is a keg of gunpowder, which, if not properly managed by responsible uh, governance processes, would obviously uh, uh, explode. And God forbid uh, uh, that uh, happening. So it's very important that we get volunteers involved but we must get credible volunteers involved. Because credible volunteers who participate in the process can add to the integrity of the process. Well, strict warning there from Professor Atari Rujega. Still on election matters. All is set in Ocean State for Saturday's local government election as the Ocean State Independent Electoral Commission has confirmed that all materials and logistics required for the conduct of the polls are ready. The local government election is coming up 10 years after uh, the last was conducted in the year 2007. Already over 6,000 security officers have been deployed to all the strategic locations in the state to maintain law and order. We also understand that public holiday has been announced uh, for the elections. But there is a lot happening in the presidency. Today, President Muhammad Buhari today uh, met with the nation's security chiefs as part of efforts aimed at ending the spate of insecurity across the country. The meeting was held behind closed doors inside the president's office at the presidential villa. The Minister of Defense, Mansoor Dan Ali, and the National Security Advisor, Babangana Mongono, led the security chiefs to the meeting. The new Director General of the National Intelligence Agency, Ahmed Abubakar, attended the security meeting for the first time since his recent appointment. 
And after the president presided over that security meeting we told you about now, the president also hold, uh, held a meeting with some members of the Nigerian Governors Forum, led by its chairman, Governor Abdulaziz Yari of Zamfara State. The president will also be attending the 30th ordinary session of the Assembly of Heads of State and Government of the African Union in Addis Ababa on Friday. African leaders will be discussing the fight against corruption at the event, and President Mohamed Buhari has been selected to talk on a theme, quote, winning the fight against corruption, a sustainable path to Africa's transformation, end of quote.